So what the hell is this over here? This weird ominous red thing <laughs> on the map. Yeah, that's a code red shadow, isn't it? I'm not gonna deal with you just yet, I don't think. Actually, I think she's supposed to be like level 20-ish. Maybe I'll be fine. If not, I can just run. Uh, it's only level 20. I think we should be fine. Like, I think the, the other guy I fought was like level 22, so I think we should be fine. Alright, easy. That was tougher than I would have liked. Wasn't that bad, alright. Uh, and unlocks intense battle difficulty in the options menu. I'm not going to do that. That feels like hell. Oh. Who goes there? What on earth are guards doing here? Their uniform is different. They're not like exorcists. Are they? No, they're mercenaries. Okay. Watch out! They've got Maliki! They're no ordinary cell swords. Sheesh. What do you suppose they were guarding? A little lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive? Why would they, though? Increase map movement speed by 10%. Is there someone here named Mendy? We've come to help. Oh, thank goodness. I can finally go home. So they were keeping you prisoner. They made you mine vermilion ore? Yes, I discovered a method of refining it, and it cost me dearly. What's vermilion ore? A rare stone made of concentrated nutrients. It can be used in medicine, but... It's also poisonous. Are we just Correct. dismantling a so drug ring? Making medicine? Yes. Yeah. Well, they were forcing me to make a nutritional substance called yeah. nectar. Isn't vermilion ore supposed to be highly addictive? Uh, I told them that. But what choice did I have? Whatever. Our task is complete. This poor can British you dude. <laughs> on your own? I can. I'm terribly sorry. Why apologize to me? Albatross meat and garlic. Fried albatross. I'm pretty sure albatross is a type of bird. Yeah. A fragment of a bird that lives near rocky shores said to be bear to spirits of ill-fated sailors. That's dark. <laughs> oh, catch chest. Please don't be too much. 75? Yes. Okay. Angel halo. Angel halo even. Alright. I guess Lafayette already kind of has a halo now. His little hair does look like a halo. I hear Mendy made it back safe. That takes care of that problem. Uh, file an ambush. Stop an ambush aimed at the real medical society on the Danon Highway. Yeah, we're just sort of, um, crushing a drug ring at this point. Sure. Keep up the good work. So... Somebody means to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. They're funded by donations given by ordinary folk. Hmm. Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. And why would an underworld group defend them? Who knows? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps? It probably has to do with the nectar again. Just gonna beat some guys up, I think. Kind of looks like ambush already happened, and they definitely have nectar with them. What's with like the red ribbons they're wearing? Hey, get out of our way! That's there. That's our <laughs> So the attackers were demons. I guess that's why they needed us to stop the attack. The doctors? Looks like they ran off. It's nectar. No, it's nectar. It appears they were after this stuff. Medicine with the cathedral seal. That scarf, did that belong to the attackers? Yeah, all three were wearing them. Does it mean something? They were just demons. 
Aggressive ones who attack the innocent. Ah, but they seem organized. <laughs> we finished all the jobs. Let's get back to the old lady's tavern. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you sure do like that Mavo curry. Uh, do I? Don't ask me. You didn't think it was tasty, Velvet? Oof. Couldn't tell you. Huh? Food doesn't hold any flavor for her. According to Velvet, she can never feel sated, and the only thing she can taste is blood. Oh, I see. All right. I need just my sitting position. What's the matter? You're gloomier than usual. Am I actually useful? Huh? You can cut down any enemy, and Aizen can beat them up. Velvet is strong and can eat anything. Yeah, but you're a healer. <laughs> but I'm not good at fighting. And apparently I'm always gloomy. Is that what's bothering you? In a fight, offense alone isn't everything. Hurting your foes means nothing if you don't live to tell the tale afterwards. Your healing arts are what let us always fight at our best. He's right. Compared to dead weight like Mogilu, you're plenty helpful out there. Only compared to Mogilu? I didn't mean it like that. I was just saying she never helped at all. Oh. You're not going to grow overnight. Be patient. Huh? You've only just been set free. That you've even managed to keep up with us this far is a feat in and of itself. Strength comes by continually improving your mind and body. Keep your spirits up and keep working at it. And you'll get there before you know it. I will? The drive to improve is what's important. Right. We're all co-parenting this one child. Alright. Oh, no misdeed left undone. By the way, those folks we just passed were talking about us. What were they saying? They were warning each other to be careful. Talking about the demons that burned down Helavis and destroyed the Seagate Fortress being near the capital. Considering how bold we've been, everyone's still fairly calm about it. You'll be famous soon enough once we kill the world's savior. Sounds like that could get fun. Fun? Why? The people trying to capture us will put prices on our heads and put up wanted posters everywhere. Depending on who draws the likenesses, each portrait can look completely different. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eisen? Aye. I've seen dozens of pictures of myself. Some make me a monster, others make me a handsome youth. It's <laughs> fascinating, really. I hope I get a poster soon. Maybe do not. Your best to really stir things up. <laughs> this poor right. kid. I'll stir everything up good. <sighs> Raising this kid wrong. <laughs> Give me my money. Uh, thirty-one fifty for for completing two code red hunts in addition to rampaging axe beating wielding ape. Okay, that also counts. Corrupted orb. We're on a catacomb city drainage system. We're going into the sewers, I guess. All right. Welcome back. That must have been hard work. How does Marvel Curry sound to you? I also have our specialty peach pie on hand. We had a deal. Spill it. Come on. <laughs> We're laughing. Ah, Shepherd Artorius has gone north, up the Danan Highway, at the Abbey's newest temple, the Empyrean's throne. He is expected to be there for a while. Are they relocating there? In a sense, yes. They're holding a ritual to move the seat of the Empyrean in Nominat. In Nominat. In other words, the Abbey's new god. It is a very serious affair. So I imagine Melchior will be there along with the other high exorcists. Suits us fine. I might even find him there. That will do. Somewhere in there we'll find a chance to strike. Perhaps, but be aware that security near the throne is on high alert. We'll manage to get through. No, you won't. You may be able to fool the guards, but there's no tricking the barrier they've put up. They've used arts to erect a giant wall, keeping outsiders away. But they have to get through themselves. That implies some sort of key, right? Yes. 
In fact, one of our people is looking into that as we speak. However, I'm afraid... <laughs> It'll cost us. You learn quickly. And here's the bill. Oh, I can't write that. <laughs> Awful Gerzo. Assassinate High Priest Giddy on Midian Cathedral? I think he was in charge of like the nectar stuff. Okay, now we're really not being nice. Consider it done. Alright. Aren't you going to ask why you have to kill a high priest? Nectar, probably. I imagine it's because he's the one controlling the nectar supply. I'm glad our characters the are smart. <laughs> he's the sole producer and distributor of a highly addictive substance. They rake in huge profits, while the common man, along with your people, suffer for it. Does that cover it? You noticed your tasks were related. That Call it was five brain test, wasn't it? And you passed. No matter how skilled you are, you have to know more than how to swing a sword to earn my trust. Don't misunderstand my intentions. I'm willing to do anything if it brings me to Artorias. I ditched my scabbard long ago. I see. So you're the embodiment of a bare blade. A more formal introduction is in order. I am Tabitha Baskerville, leader of the Bloodwing Butterflies. Cool lady. <laughs> Tell me about the High Priest. Each evening, he prays for protection from calamity at the royal villa on the Castle Logris grounds. Tradition holds that the High Priest should be alone for the prayer. That would seem the best time to strike. How do we get into the villa? Carry this insignia with you, and allies of the Bloodwings will offer you their aid. We'll hold up our end. Just find out about that key. Ah, <sighs> uh, Velvet? Are you okay? It's nothing. But you seem... I said it's nothing! Uh. <gasps> Sneaking into the castle will be an all-night job. Don't Let's yell at Lafacette. Poor kid. Yeah. Is that the key? If you want smart pro tags, don't play at Symphonia, man. <laughs> Can't be that bad. <laughs> if nectar made from vermilion ore is so bad for your health that it was banned, why are they making it? They make it because it was banned. Huh? Just because the powers that be say a rule is for the greater good, it doesn't mean that everyone will see eye to eye with them. If Tabitha's Mabo curry was outlawed, would you really be able to never eat it again? I wouldn't like it. But if it's against the rules... Uh. <laughs> well, you'll get hungry no matter what. People want what they want. But anything forbidden is bound to be rare. And when things are rare, they become expensive. So that's why people make it. The world isn't a simple place. There's an underside to everything. An underside? Contract killers, secret weapons dealers, loan sharks that charge outrageous interest, Pirates like me, the folks who offered us mooring for information, and the Gilded Helavis are all part of it. As are the people who dye chicks blue to sell them at a higher price. And the people who bet on alleyway bug fights. <gasps> and they'll come to you with a smile, so you can't let your guard down if you want to stay safe. What sorts of bugs do they make fight? Laffy, you're, you're taking... <laughs> it's... Laffy said is learning so much, alright. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy some stuff real quick in case the shop's updated. Alright. I don't think there's not gonna be any new skits around still, so... Only if there's anything new, please. I would like some new boots. Oh, uh, buy this flame lord. Flame lord, actually. Um, 
Uh, no new boots. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm out of money. Um, <laughs> maybe sell some stuff. Uh... Where's the stuff that's, like, paid to be sold? <laughs> right. Um, oh shit, okay. Pirate flags are also here. I kind of don't want to sell them. I don't think it's still enough to actually buy anything, but it's fine. It's just ingredients for Mabu Tofu. Lofi can wait. <laughs> High Priest Gideon will be alone at night. Rest up. And talk to the tavern keep when you're ready. The Shadow Guild operates this tavern. It's been that way for generations. The red scarf is a symbol of the Bloodwing butterflies? Aye, you seem to know a lot. Show that insignia to a person in a red scarf, and they'll help you out. What about the guys who attack the traitors, though? Hmm. Should we go upstairs for you? Sure. I thought, yeah, I could stay here for free. <laughs> we know for a fact that Captain Eifried was on the prison island for a period of time. And it's true that Melchior took him away. However, I'm afraid that is where the trail grows cold. In any case, we can be sure that the Abbey has him captive. But what could they possibly want with him? If their aim is merely to fight piracy, they'd publicly execute him, or try to lure you out, would they not? And yet they've done neither. Total silence. I wonder... Could it be they want to get their hands on the relics some say Ifri brought back from the far continent? The relic from across the sea? Have rumors of that strange thing been going around? It's possible. There was a certain relic that the captain was curiously taken with. Kept it safe. What was it? That's our business. I'll speak no more of it. But if that's truly what they're after, I highly doubt the villa is where they're keeping him locked up. That's not where they keep their torture implements. <laughs> Quite true. At any rate, I thank you for sharing what secrets you could. I wish you the best of luck on your search for more information. More. If survival is at stake, an elder sister eating her brother before he inexorably wastes away is not outside the bounds of reason. You needn't hold back, Velvet. Eat, Lapisette. No! You and your disgusting words! Oh. <laughs> what? Why? You were... You were shouting. Be more careful around me! You know full well I'm a demon! I'm sorry. Lobby. He's gonna get traumatized all over again. <laughs> Awake or asleep, it's all one long nightmare. Something I get Smashing objects together is destruction. Smashing feelings together is life. But objects, tools, so much easier to abuse and toss aside. What does that mean? 
It means break time is over. Time to get to work, sweetie. When are you finally going to get into my party? <laughs> Good thing I showed up in time. Don't tell me you're coming too. Sojourn alongside the gloomy demon lady, and the exorcist controlling Bienfu is sure to appear. I told my own fortune, and there it was. Do your fortunes actually hold water? I've been in the castle before, you know. How useful to have Magilu along, they said in the future. Get in my way, and I'll give you the boot. It's the Viper's Nest. They're always watching. Yes, but therein lie shadows, too. Let's look for someone with a red scarf. She's still not in here. Okay. I knew this would be big. What a treasure! Uh, a painting salvaged from a wreck drifting on the Ash Ashra Sea. The landscape depicts a tower of rebirth and a castle in the sky. Air symbolic of unity between heaven and earth. Okay. Slot expansion. What? Frameless glasses. Okay. There it is. Oh, that's a fine piece. <laughs> I don't like this expression on Aizen. It's a little bit crazy looking. All right. It's a nice painting, I guess, but what's with that thing doing up in the sky? Rookie, you're sailing into a storm when you try to criti like, criticize a masterpiece like this. What we have here is likely, likely an example of early Belformanism, a movement which sought to combine religious beliefs with hyper surrealistic techniques. What matters isn't what it isn't what is depicted on the canvas itself, but rather how it stirs the heart of the viewer. Doesn't it bother you? How does something that huge float in this air like that? Can't let your vision be clouded by nitpicky details. Open up your heart to wonder and beauty. It is open. I'm wondering what the heck is going on in that painting. Give you one answer. The painting should be that way, so it was painted that way. <laughs> the artist painted what needed to be painted. They're, they're very soul demanded. The sky didn't need a bird or a sun or an angel or a rat pig. It needed this. There's your answer, it's in the very essence of art. How can I win against passion like that? Alright. You can't, simply. Let's see your papers. Checks out. Sounds about right. Oh, we're going this into the sewers. Here connects to the castle. It should put you inside the villa. Secret tunnel. Uh, Careful. Uh, uh, they... Watch your step, boy. There are giant crocodiles in those waters. This looks familiar. Crocodiles? A croc's favorite meal is witches. All right, onward and inward. Everyone but Mogilu tread carefully. <laughs> Some assassins crew we are. We're all friends, except for Magilu, I guess. <laughs> uh. The Bloodwings are a serious organization. I'm impressed that they know about this entrance. And they have agents on the inside to facilitate this little operation too. They must have branches working all over the Empire. They've probably even figured out how to get cats and dogs working for them. Here's a juicy morsel about them. They make sure even their corpses go to good use. They what? Long ago, one of their agents stole into the castle. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to this very passage. He dove into the water to escape, and then... Crunch! Ah! A crocodile devoured him in one massive bite! All that remained was his arm bobbing to the surface. From this, two important facts were learned. What were they? First, they learned of the existence of this passage. Second, they could serve crocodile meat in town. Crocodile meat rubbed with human blood becomes tender and succulent, perfect for Mavo curry. Then I ate? If it's so tasty, I'll have to try it. Rubbed with the blood of a lying witch. 
That would hit the spot, I think. And it wouldn't even affect our combat strength. <laughs> hey, the kid's a wreck. It was just a joke to help calm him down. I don't think it that helped. <laughs> a joke? Yeah, I totally made up that part about the crocodile. Mabo curry is actually made from man-eating catfish who... <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep moving. Right. I'll get you for this, witch killers! She's fine, it's fine. Okay. According to the drawings I said, you'll need to go through some tight passage to get to the villa. If you're like that, you might get stuck. I'm tiny. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for a warning. <laughs> Oops, stepbrother, I'm stuck. Oh god. <laughs> You can flip switches to drain waterways and create new paths. If you find water blocking your way, search for a switch nearby. Hey, Alright. Look! The water level dropped. You don't think there are any alligators down there, do you? It'd be fun. They're supposed to be protecting the people from demons, but there are demons right under their noses. Abby security is certainly lacking here. The whole point of building those massive walls Ow. around the city is to keep people safe inside. But if there's a demon outbreak on the inside. Those same walls will make it harder for everyone to escape. The palace covers a lot of ground, so there are tons of hiding places. It wouldn't be hard for a demon to slip in through the waterway. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of that. Perhaps it's a trap made to lure intruders in. What? They lure demons in and then ignore them? Something doesn't add up. I know, right? I don't think I can... I don't know what level that is. <laughs> I'm level 16 right now. Should I do it? I guess we can. Pillbug. Level 21. Not that bad. However, hold on. I might need to fix my equipment first. Kill me, Laffy! Help me, Laffy! Oh, oh, oh. Maybe... Uh, I don't want to use an item if I can help it. <laughs> While I'm using items. <laughs> If I can't do this, then maybe I should get out of here. <laughs> uh, I think I'll, I'm going to have to come back to that one. I just bought 10 pairs of underwear and 12 pairs of socks. Alright, fair. <laughs> 16 pairs of socks, I see. For all 16 of your... Okay. Oh wait, there's a cat's chest. We need to get through here while it's still nighttime. The perfect place for prognostication. Eeny teeny spiny crow. Which way, which way, shall we go? Mogilu. Oh, verily the icy glare of death. Boy, which way do you think is best? I... <laughs> uh... There must be a way up somewhere. Let's find it. <laughs> uh... You guys never done like a naked photo shoot and you had to uh <laughs> put your junk into a sock. Why so glum, Velvet? The thought of killing a man weighing heavy even on your own damaged conscience? Not especially. But I wonder how you remain so flippant about it. Hey, I'm not here to murder anyone. I'm just tagging along in search of my traitor. <clears throat> Do we have to kill him? Can't we just make him stop this nectar business? I don't think he'd listen to us. Huh? Word in the taverns is that this high priest is a real shady character. The Abbey and the religion are popular now, but three years ago, no one had heard of them. High Priest Gideon was the one who led the church through those dark days. But once Malachim became visible to the general public, and they learned how effective Moloch arts were against demons, that all changed. Humans are such fools, only believing what they can see with their own eyes. And once the church had attained popular support, a nasty power struggle swept through the ranks. Many vied for the mantle of high priest, charlatans, power-hungry converts, but they all faded away. They left the church? No, they all met their maker. Some from disease, others from accidents. And in the end, Gideon became high priest. <gasps> He may be the head of the church, but the people clamor for Shepherd Artorius. That's got a sting. Either way, if we're to face him, he might have some tricks up his sleeve. We'll need to keep our eyes open. 
It doesn't matter who he is. We just do our job. All right. Have you? Uh. Well, you know I'm a photographer. All right. Got anything for me, buddy? I guess not. Okay. A library. This is unexpected. Wow! Oh, well, isn't this a rare collection of tomes? You royals sure have coffers to burn. Ooh. Oh! Secret passage. An ancient tongue. Can you read it? Well, no, but I just. This has nothing to do with our job. Are we ignoring how the bookshelf moved? <laughs> there you go. Huh? If you want it, just take it. Don't pretend oh, nothing to moved. Okay. You're consorting with demons. Good grief, Velvet. You can't lighten up for once in your life. Lighten up? Did you forget we're here to kill someone? You really want that ratty old thing? There's gotta be way pricier ones. Villa book. Alright. I could have sworn the bookshelf moved, or maybe I just misinterpreted what happened. <laughs> it totally moved. Oh. <laughs> There's a hidden bookshelf behind the regular bookshelf. Studies of residence. A little manuscript of unknown origin. To perceive one needs stronger reticence than is needed to perceive monsters. One reason why there are less recorded about them than of demons and monsters. Furthermore, perceiving source of calamity requires not only resonance but the influence of the Imperium's domain. The rest is blotted out and unreadable. Right. So, Mogulu, which way to the worship hall? Hmm, which way indeed? I asked you a question. I told you I've been here before, but I never said I was an expert. And I said we'd dump you if you started to annoy me. Dump me? Then you'll need to look for a trash can first. <sighs> I'm the fool for even trying to hold a conversation with you. That's the spirit. Loosen up those shoulders, and the way forward ought to make itself plain. <laughs> Feeling nervous, Lafayette? A bit. I can teach you a spell that will help. Like that eeny teeny spiny crow thing? No, that was divination to draw back the veil of fate. This spell is a bit of magic that will improve your fortune. Here is what you must chant. Magic Kazam! <laughs> See? It totally works. I'm not sure. What did this spell do? It's a pointless charm to dispel a pointless worry. If it's pointless, why even perform it? Because humans are creatures that find themselves burdened unknowingly by pointless things. In any case, chant after me. Are you ready? Uh, all right. Magikazam! Magikazam. I can't hear you! Try again! Magikazam! Magikazam. Once again! With feeling! Magikazam! Going to track the cards. Magikazamazam. Again. Magikazamazam. Is that all you've got? Magikazamazam. Shh, keep it down. We're trying to sneak in. Remember? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just an old gag. Shut up. <laughs> Ow! What was that for? I was only easing the boy's nerves. She's we crying. More important things to worry about. Hmm. Demons and Malakim are such stiffs. Magic Kazam. Huh? Did that help? <laughs> and now the boy consoles me. Well, that was pointless. We're about to stab a man. What? Are you Gideon? I am in prayer at the moment. Who are you? I asked you first. Such ill manners. But what else could I expect of a demon? <laughs> Right there. 
Another accurate augury. An ambush. Is this more of your Reaper's curse? Or do you think the old lady sold us out? You figured it out, didn't you? That he's running the Nectar operation. Indeed. I followed up on each of the incidents you caused, and the trail led me all the way to the High Priest Gideon. Yet you still defend him? The punishment he deserves is for the Abbey to administer. Abbey's not gonna do shit. <laughs> punishment? How dare you! Do you realize how much I've done for the good of the Abbey? Mm, make her nice and desperate, Velvet. I just know the result will be something wonderful. <laughs> Stay out of this, witch. Okay. First of all, I need to get rid of your lackeys. <laughs> I'll take care of this right here, right now. I cannot. The laws of the Abbey are clear. Once I get all her ads down, she should go down pretty easily. <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid that, like, maybe Eleanor would do, like, her own mystic art. Oh, okay. Madam Eleanor. Oh, wait, there's more. Damn, reinforcements. We're fine. They have the advantage at range. Akura is just flashy like that. Run from your true mistress. Are you finally joining my party, Magulu? Mine. I'm putting you back where you belong. You, descendant of the Seventh Grove, see our vows renewed. May our prayers of discontent vanish infinitesimal into the void. Remember this true name I bestow unto you, Fushi Cass! Yeah! I'm... <laughs> oh, now it is on! Get in my fucking party, Magalu. <laughs> it's been long enough. Are you an exorcist? is a plaything, and the souls of men but moats. Nice. <laughs> oh, but if it's a name you need, call me Miss Mogilu! A human consorting with demons? Have you no shame, girl? Alright, wait, what? Spending one Break Gods level during a combo will instantly switch out characters and perform a tremendous knockback. This is new. <laughs> doing this while defending will switch characters without attacking, so the side which is white for the situation. Okay. Swap characters and attack. Ah, that's fun. Alright. We have at least one BG you can spend. Press up to spend 1BG and switch out a character from battle and attack with the un incoming substitute fighter. Once the party reaches 6 members, you can also press down. Okay. So, yeah, max 6 characters. As long as you have the required BG, you can even switch out cave characters for characters who can still fight. Okay. So, like, which character to switch out with left and right? Okay. Okay, uh... Then pay us back right here. Always invest responsibly, children. Great. Uh, I'm guessing you're my magic attacker. I'm at low health. Um, come on. Get your arts. <laughs> Before I get my ass kicked. Hold the right trigger with three more muscles. Decrease the Adam Alley casting time and interrupts enemy casting. Okay. 
Activates upon Switch Blast. Hops out of the ground and scatters enemies. Shoot. Frick. I'm trying to do shit, but it's not happening. Shoot. Frick. I keep dying. I keep dying. I keep dying. I want to play more Magdalene, but if I do, I'll get my ass kicked, so... Now is not the time to try and fuck around and find out. <laughs> she seems to be fighting with, like, bookmarks. Interesting. <laughs> there you go. Stand aside. Becoming like a recurring boss? If you're not going to devour her right here and now. All I did, I did for the sake of the Abbey. We needed money to build the temple. That's why I sold the nectar. Stop giving me I excuses, old man. To produce so much of it, but, but I was only trying to help the people as best I could. Let's talk this over. Who ordered you here? Was it the sick? Was it the doctors? Or? No. Or was it Artorius? I knew it! Damn his eyes! So he wants to wipe me out of existence. Why would he assume it was Artorias? Okay. Bastard! After all the work I did for him! No! Velvet! That false savior will pay! Oh? Ugh. Shoot. You can't die now. You think you could read books when you're dead? You fucking nerd. <laughs> uh, don't you die either, Velvet. Priestie's getting away. He won't. I'll hunt him down. Uh, everyone levels up. Nice. Suffering from status ailments including paralysis and burns present prevents the restoration of HP, gels, and healing arts. Can't use gels to heal while their status ailments. That is so annoying. I hate that they kept that. Okay. Status ailments last around for 30 seconds and can be extremely dangerous if ignored. Uh, you can stir cure status ailments with panacea bottles and some healing arts will remove status ailments and restore HP at the same time. Using Switch Splash will, nul will nullify any status effects and add one soul to the character coming in. This can be useful to extend both your combo lengths after using souls. Paralysis, ba -da -da -ba -da -da. Guardian Doll, that looks ugly. <laughs> Sorry. I hate that, I hate that. Mana Earrings, okay. Midi Blouse, Shock Ward, Calcite Boots, alright, cool. So, not even the High Priest is immune to Demon Blight. I guess he hit his limit. What Great. Was that? Catch chess. Okay. Left swift bangs. Okay. It's just a Rokuro hair. How does it look on Rokuro? <laughs> uh, it does not look any different. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> It's a griffin? The demon returned to human form? And what is that beast? Yes, we'll find out. Ooh. Oh, is it like velvet then? There's a barrier here. Because velvet had a similar yeah, barrier. Holding this, thing captive? this barrier. I know it well. Is it also Ethereum? It seems our errand has met with success. At least technically speaking. 
Right. Let's get out of here. What did you do to the High Priest? What is this demon? I don't know, and I don't care. Do not mock me! You are the mockery. What do you hope to do to me without your exorcist powers? <laughs> Two inches away from her titty. Alright. <laughs> Baby, don't leave her here with the giant possible Syrian. Who are you? Who are you people? That was some night though. Stay sharp. Dawn hasn't come yet. Babies. Oh. Stealing a Moloch from an exorcist. How did you pull that one off, Magilu? The info was my Moloch to begin with. Then he looks so what me and ran away from his rightful home. <laughs> Miss Magilu treats Malakim so bad, bad, bad. I couldn't take it anymore. After a little while, I ran into Madame Eleanor. She was so much nicer to me. I see, I see. Now, just how am I going to punish you for that little slander on my character? <laughs> the bad, bad days are here again! You're an exorcist, then. Eh, I'm a witch, silly. The Enfu here is the catalyst thingy for my magic. But only exorcists can form a pact with Malakim. <laughs> oh, yeah? Says who? Someone who likes making dumb rules? <laughs> Enough, Velvet. Questioning her is a good way to go mad. All right. You did the job well, it seems. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear it all. And did you learn anything about the key for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcists can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if they are accompanied by at least four greater Malakim. Hmm. So if we had four powerful Malakim with us, we could slip through. But Malakim outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. I have two, at least. Three of you count the info. Well, I mean... Aizen, Lafiset, and Bienfu. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu though. You have no courtesy. How about it would be an honor, Madame Mogilu? More like that. Would you come if we asked? To attack the shepherd? <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between shepherd and demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Miss Mogilu. Um. I. I would like it. If. If you came with us, pl please. Luffy said. Oh. Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. You can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Allies of the ones trying to kill the savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate young lady. Listen, dear, all of us live on the fringes of their so-called reason, do we not? Don't say I didn't warn you. Tails. Velvet, wait. <laughs> Aww. My, my. I can't blame him. 
It's been a long night. Baby is sleeping. <laughs> Some aid for your allies? Of course. Right away. Baby is sleeping. <laughs> You're finally up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? That's also natural, right? I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough, if what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. <sighs> what joy to face a clear, refreshing morning! Especially after a long night of meting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor battered body! You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? You're facing the Shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world we'll find a way win just by smacking it around a bit that's no empyrean it's a phony artorius is just using a legend to control the people wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight <sighs> oh you don't believe in enominat i believe there exists something people call enominat but it's just a moloch that used a special art to bring the other molochim into our world you sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately, our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. All right, Lafayette. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris. In the mountains, up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphjay with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Alright, I feel like Aizen knows something about the Demon Blight. Okay, secret of Sylphjays. Those Sylphjays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pinch. <laughs> I hear grilled sylphjay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> alright, alright. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a sylph jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts and will seek out the recipient you have in mind. But her psychic I type. Never seen them in the wild. Are they a kind of Moloch or something? No, they're not Molochim. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island, and a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship, eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Benwick stepped in and kept her eggs safe and warm. Benwick is so a new mother. So attached to him. Usually, they're really hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. 
Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. So you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the sylph jays just laid her eggs. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. No! Don't even think about it! <laughs> it was worth a try. <sighs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, Malak ranks. Hello again! I'm Yenfu, a Malak! Nice to meet you all! Just so you know, I'm a greater Malak. You're a greater Malak too, Luffy said. I'm sure we'll get along great. I'm... classified as a greater Malak? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. You're a greater Malak too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. I won't. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self-worth? They're pirates and demons. Pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Mogulu, you're so kind. You've changed so much since I left. But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest. This is bad, bad! And our roster of the Oblivious grows longer. Poor Bianfeo. That being said, I don't really feel that sorry for him. Alright, uh, there's a few exclamation points on the map. I hear the High Priest was injured, and will be recuperating <laughs> somewhere for the near future. He's dead. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. He's but dead. But there's also rumors that Thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. Indeed. I want to believe it's just that, a rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at all! Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! <laughs> Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the High Priest was murdered, and in the castle of all places, the people would lose faith in the government. Alright. Don't growl at me. Ah, right, I know. That's what I said. Moggy Do you know how to speak dog? Of course. It's Witchery 101. Wow. What's it saying? Humans always say every dog has its day, but I've never met a dog that had its own day. What about me? When's my time in the limelight? As you can see, he's very upset. Sorry, boy. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Alright. <laughs> now, can she really speak to animals, or is she just fucking with him? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I know, come on! What's this dog saying? Humans always say, let sleeping dogs lie. But do you ever let me nap? No, stop all the petting and let me sleep. I mean, come on, practice what you preach. That's what I always say. You humans are all bark and no bite. As you can see, she has a lot of criticism for the systematic injustices practiced by a hypocritical and tyrannical human society. That is one astute doggy. These dogs sure are complaining a lot. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Hey, I remember you. I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. <laughs> You're those traveling misfits. The ones who did that dove act in Logris. Mad Lou's Menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. Get it right or pay the price. So, you saw us in Logris? That's right. I was there on Port Zexan business. I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Sexton tomorrow? I'm not in Port Sexton. <laughs> girl go coo again. It was hilarious. And that magician's dove trick, too. <laughs> sure, but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that again. No. Oh, come on, please. Take a hint. 
Hey now, don't be like that. Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. <laughs> that sounds fun. Do it. If you insist. But just a warning. There's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Mogilu's menagerie. See you at our next show. I assume I was supposed to meet that guy over in the, the other town, maybe. Come, sinner, and repent to your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today. Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No, it is you who has captured my devotion, my darling. There's no one else I want but you. What? M me? But uh, my life is in service to the Empyreans. I... Hush. I want you to look at me the way I look at you. Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please, forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying! To a priest! How could you? No, she was just oh, quoting no. a book. <laughs> I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin. Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you. <laughs> I was about to say this poor priest, but this guy totally uh, deserves whatever is coming towards his way. <laughs> Lord Arturius's speech really struck a chord with me. I'm sure everyone else in town feels the same way. Actually, it would be problematic if they don't. Why would you have a problem with that? One word, lady. Business. The ceremony to move the great Empyrean Enominat is going on now, right? After a speech as moving as that, anyone would want to offer a prayer to the new Empyrean. Which is why I'm selling commemorative chalices. Ah, they just come in from Port Zexon. <laughs> oh, Enominat's blessings are many indeed. Are you decorating the chalices with anything? I'm just about to deliver them to the craftsmen to get them engraved. I just hope all this effort doesn't go to waste. <laughs> Impossible! This is the perfect opportunity. I guess amateurs just don't get it. <laughs> I may not know business, but I know how this story ends. Artorius, the ceremony, all of it. I'll end this by my own hand. We're about to ruin this man's entire career. All right. What's that? Oh. oh. That statement could shake the very foundation of man's relationship with his self-professed best friend! Huh? What did he just say? Humans call us man's best friend, but they consort with the foul felines. The hound may be faithful, but not the man. He quietly stated, a look of betrayal in his <laughs> eyes. That's a shock. I didn't know dogs felt that way about us. You jealous dog, you. Poor thing. All right. Man, I've been feeling really out of it recently. I was much happier when I was drinking sweet, sweet nectar. It suddenly got a lot harder to get. The price shot up 20 times in the black market. I came to the capital hoping it'd be easier to find, but no one's got any. Give it up. It's got vermilion ore in it. What? Vermilion ore? I heard that stuff is crazy addictive. Real bad news. It'll be easier to quit now that it's harder to find. Real sailors don't need that crap, right? Yeah, you're right. I don't need nectar. From now on, I'm going to the bar after work. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> 